Brittany Madison, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So it was just reported yesterday by a Filipino reporter, a Filipino website. Matter of fact, the guy's name is Jay Henson. Philstar.com reported, did an interview basically with Manny Pacquiao. In that interview, Manny Pacquiao made a stunning admission. Manny Pacquiao admitted that he Never, and I put heavy emphasis on the word never, seen a doctor for his shoulder, right? Then he goes on to say, I never did any type of rehabilitation for the shoulder. Even though we were told that this was a severe rotator cuff injury. Manny Pacquiao tells the public in this interview that God and salt water from the ocean healed his shoulder. Now, what surprises me the most about this stunning admission is the media hasn't even mentioned it in America some of the biggest media outlets have completely swept this story underneath the rug and they haven't even mentioned it right usually Manny Pacquiao news is huge Mayweather news is huge from the time we watched the Mayweather Pacquiao fight we have been getting countless updates of Manny Pacquiao's rehabilitation for his shoulder Manny Pacquiao's injury Manny Pacquiao recovering from his injury etc etc we've seen so many stories about Manny Pacquiao rehabilitating his shoulder just to have him come out and say I never saw a doctor I never seen a doctor for my shoulder. We've read reports of Bob Arum saying I, I want him to come out here and get, you know, rehabilitation on his shoulder, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So once again, I go back to my main point, which is how is it possible that Manny Pacquiao's own country reported this story? But America doesn't report the story. How crazy is that, right? Not only did the Philippines report this story, but Philstar.com, they titled the article, Manny's Miraculous Recovery. Now, I'm sure everyone knows what the word miraculous means, but do you know the exact definition of the word? Let me go ahead and read it to you. Occurring through divine or supernatural intervention or manifesting such power. Highly improbable and extraordinary and bringing very welcome consequences. What is the definition of improbable? Not likely to be true or to happen. Unexpected and apparently inauthentic. I think the definitions speak for themselves ESPN went on a tirade discrediting Floyd Mayweather immediately following his victory over the quote unquote fighter of the decade Manny Pacquiao the eight division champion Manny Pacquiao ESPN went on a rampage trying to discredit Floyd Mayweather saying that the fight was horrible, it was this, it was that, and it was all Floyd Mayweather's fault. This is what ESPN said after the fight. 
Even though Manny Pacquiao threw less punches than Floyd Mayweather, landed less punches than Floyd Mayweather, even though Manny Pacquiao at times in a fight had Floyd Mayweather's back against the ropes, and it was Manny Pacquiao who elected to back up and let Floyd off the ropes. Even though we know about all of these facts, ESPN said the fight was a huge disappointment and that was all attributed to Floyd Mayweather. Now to add insult to injury, all the years that ESPN actually gave Floyd Mayweather the Fighter of the Year award when he wasn't fighting against Manny Pacquiao and that was the fight that they and all of us wanted to see once Floyd Mayweather beats quote unquote the fighter of the decade ESPN doesn't give him the fighter of the year award as far as I'm concerned just the way we heard ESPN talking after the fight and then they're handing out awards as far as I'm concerned that's a conflict of interest within itself but anyway the bigger point that I'm getting at is the question was why aren't American reporters reporting this news that now Manny Pacquiao is acknowledging and admitting that he never went to see a doctor for a severe shoulder injury any answer is simple matter of fact there's a couple answers to that question the obvious answer is because Pacquiao is not on the coincidental list but to go a little bit deeper Manny Pacquiao he made all of these reporters that completely backed his story with no proof look stupid to put it plain and simple he made them look stupid because they've been reporting every single thing that team Pacquiao has been saying about his shoulder injury but once Manny Pacquiao says that he never went to see a doctor God healed his shoulder etc etc oh now they don't want to mention it anymore now they don't want to report the news this is huge news guys this is big news especially if you're a reporter but because this sport is so divided because this sport is so political and segregated these writers aren't going to mention this story oh it'll come out eventually because people like me and, and, and other people that are reporting it that forces more people to address the issue but I'm just saying so far no one has reported this story not any of the major boxing outlets media outlets I should say but I have a feeling a lot of them are sitting there saying to themselves damn we tried to do everything we could do to make this man Manny Pacquiao look better in defeat and he comes out and makes this startling admission you know the other day I was interviewing a fighter my man Reginald shouts out to Reginald and he brought up a very interesting point because if Manny Pacquiao is telling the public that he never seen a doctor that means we have to question if there was any surgery that took place at all I mean if we if we're listening to Manny Pacquiao's own words never usually means never okay if Manny Pacquiao never seen a doctor Reginald asked the question which I'm going to upload that video either later on tonight or tomorrow 
but I have a lot of stuff to upload. But anyway, he raised the question, if he never seen a doctor, where did he get the sling from? What did he do? Just go to Walmart and just and pick it up? He just had one of his assistants just bring him a sling? I mean, we know Manny Pacquiao is a politician. But guys, this is getting ridiculous. You know, Alex Ariza once said that Bob Arum said, fans are like dumb rocks. You can kick them in any direction. Well, guys... I believe that Manny Pacquiao is taking that phrase to a whole nother level. Throughout the entire promotion of this fight, Mayweather versus Pacquiao, fans that, you know, or I should say detractors of Floyd Mayweather who say, Floyd, he talks too much, he's cocky, he's this, he's that, right? He plays the role of the villain. All of a sudden, Mayweather is quiet, he's humble, he doesn't say anything anything negative about Manny Pacquiao or Freddie Roach even when Freddie Roach is, is is firing shots at team Mayweather throughout the promotion when Mayweather is asked what's his response to what Freddie Roach is saying you know what Fred, you know what Mayweather says he says you know Freddie Roach he's a good trainer that's all I really have to say okay throughout the build-up to this fight Floyd Mayweather was highly respectful of Manny Pacquiao. After the fight, Floyd Mayweather embraces Manny Pacquiao, gets on a microphone, praises Manny Pacquiao for being such a good fighter, such a difficult fighter. You know, Floyd Mayweather is not often in a situation where he expresses himself and explains why he wasn't able to do every single thing that he wanted to do in the fight or that his father, his trainer, Floyd Mayweather Sr. wanted him to do in this fight. In this situation, he did express himself and he told the truth. He praised Manny Pacquiao. So we know that it was sincere when he said it, okay? Manny Pacquiao to this day has never gave Floyd Mayweather any credit for defeating him okay this is supposed to be a guy that is extremely religious we often hear the phrase or the words humble in defeat there was no being humble when Manny Pacquiao lost this fight to this day he has not been humble in defeat right he came up with all of the excuses in the middle of the press conference, once again, Floyd Mayweather is praising Manny Pacquiao. Once Manny Pac, once Floyd Mayweather says, "Oh, he had," he said he had an injury. Both of my hands were injured, but I don't make excuses for that, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Manny Pacquiao gets up in the middle of Floyd Mayweather talking about him having injured hands. Manny Pacquiao gets up and he leaves the press conference right in the middle of Floyd Mayweather saying that. Now, once again, guys, like I always tell you, I don't judge a person's personality, how they act outside of the ring. It really comes down to who's the best inside of that ring. But if you fans are going to sit over here and say, I don't like Floyd because of what he says, what he does, because of his personality, outside of the ring then you have to treat Manny Pacquiao the exact same way that you guys are treating Floyd Mayweather right Manny Pacquiao has not represented himself in a positive fashion and he is making himself look really bad right now all this man had to do is just come out and say look Floyd Mayweather is a hell of a fighter. He was the better man tonight. I want a rematch. I believe if I go back to the drawing board, I could, pro I could probably beat this guy. And leave it at that. But what did he do? He came up with excuse after excuse. Let me give you this quote once again. It is better to offer no excuse 
than a bad one. George Washington. Manny Pacquiao's excuse was a real bad one. That's all I got for now. I'm on to the next one.